Social Security is a lifeline for millions of seniors and people with disabilities. But this government safety net is now coming under a harsh spotlight. People are stepping forward with horror stories of Social Security calling to get the money they sent you back. Around a million people each year get these kind of notification letters. Now here's investigative reporter Angie Ricono. Everything was good, and then here comes this letter saying that they owed, I owed them $62,000 back money. What did you think when you opened up that letter and you I saw? I was just, I didn't know what to think. Tim Middaw lives in a red and white trailer in Peculiar, Missouri. He has a rusted truck he needs to pay taxes on and a cat. Can you pay him back? No, no, there's no way. Uh, <sighs> Like I said earlier, the scary part of this is, is I'm just one step away from being homeless. Tim has sold guns and jewelry to stay afloat. There's not much else. I sold a snap-on toolbox that I've had since I was 18 years old. It was my pride and joy. And never would I get rid of it. It's gone. Tim agreed to a payment plan he describes as a hostage situation. They threatened me and said they're going to take it all. So he now lives on around $8,000 a month once Social Security takes its claw back. But it's just they beat me to a pulp. There's got to be a solution here. The right? issue was recently discussed in the House Ways and Means Committee. Now, these are people that, you know, they were, they were living by the rules. They thought they were doing everything fine. Testimony revealed just how common this problem so is. We, were... we have a number of how many people have been impacted by these overpayments. So for um, the number of people, beneficiaries experiencing an overpayment each year for FY 2022, um, 1 million 28,389 for FY 2023, 989,912. That's right, about a million people a year get surprise letters. Examples are now being collected and even categorized by financial columnist and author Terry Savage, along with economist Lawrence Kotlikoff. The website is aptly named socialsecurityhorrorstories.com. My disabled son was told he owes $20,000. Pay $3,800 or else. We want an 18-month statute of limitations. If Social Security makes a mistake, they should catch it quickly. After 18 months, it's their problem, not yours. The man we're speaking with, they're going back to um, 2008. Oh, we have stories going back 35, 40 years. People are just terrorized by these pay in 30 days or else. And the or else is they have all the power to stop your check. That must end right now. Social Security's annual overpayments add up. In 2022, the clawbacks added up to more than $3 billion. Tim can't speak to billions, but he can tell you all about $530. That's the amount Social Security is holding back. He's trying to adjust. I went to the grocery store out here last night and the gal made the comment, I can get all this in one sack if you want to. And I said, that's fine. We recently sat outside of Tim's trailer and talked about budget TV dinners and Tim admitted to splurging on soda pop. They beat me down now that I take three kinds of antidepressants. Something he blames on Social Security. We reached out to Social Security about Tim's case, but did not get a response. Our reporting continues online, where we take a closer look at how you can calculate your benefits and what you can do to protect yourself from being overpaid in the first place. Angie Bracono, KCTV5 News.